right guys, it is an exciting day today. As you can tell, anytime you get something in the mail and it's got that sticker on it from Woodland Mills, you're probably in for a bit of a tree here. And this is a new product out by Woodland Mills and something that I'm really excited to get opened up and sort of looked at in order to see how it's gonna play a part in my saw milling. So what this is, as you can see on the side of the box, this is a saw mill blade tooth setter. Okay, so it's going to help me align the teeth just before I put it on my new sharpener. And that sharpener is the Grindlux 4000 sold by Woodland Mills. Check out my video posted just recently if you're interested in seeing the unboxing of that. So, tooth setter, here we go. Just like Christmas. All right, what do we got here? Your owner's manual. Believe it or not, I'm one of those guys who actually read it, but uh, I think especially for this, because it's sort of a precision tool, I'm gonna have to read it. So we get the first piece here, and you can see some sort of a calibration meter or um, measurement device, rather. We'll set that down off to the side. And here's the base plate. And what do we got here? So there's the handle, and that's going to actually do some adjusting of the teeth. And we got some tools, which is always nice, although I have a full array of tools. Uh, if you don't, it can be a real headache because you don't have the wrench you need. Well, you're not putting this together. Thank you, Woodland Mills, for providing that. And that's it. So nice thing with this, it comes pretty much all assembled, it appears. And judging by the, uh, the actual Number of pieces here, there's one, two, three pieces, some tools in your book. So this isn't gonna be that complex and probably by the looks of it, it's gonna to go together quite quickly. So let's get this put together. My first impression of this, it, uh, it feels pretty solid, right? So it doesn't feel like it's gonna flex or anything. Sometimes when I see things that uh, are a solid piece of metal, my concern is the wall thickness of the metal. This looks pretty good here. I'm not gonna see any flexing. And uh, we definitely don't want that in a tooth setter because if this flexes, well, I'm not going to get that precision precision uh, bend on my tooth that I'm looking for. So let's get this put together. guys as you saw that was not much of an effort for me that took me all of a minute and I can sort of say that this thing is pretty much assembled when you take it out of the box and the little bit that you have to assemble is very very easy because in the actual manual itself you'll see under assembly see the parts you need to focus on they're colored that tells you where you're looking that tells you where you're putting the nut that tells you where you're going to assemble that makes it really easy the only thing I really had to assemble here as you guys saw I had to take this, put the handle onto the base with that one nut with the provided wrench. So life is good. I am just about ready to get underway, but before I do so, I have to go through and read a little bit more of the manual because there is some fine details that I need to familiarize myself with. And the great thing about that in the owner's manual, the actual use of this tool is well laid out. As I mentioned, the colors really make it easy to identify what you have to focus your attention on as you're learning this tool. So one last thing I'm going to mention about this tool. I already talked about the rigidity of the base. The base, the wall thickness of the metal appears to be pretty stout and at least stout enough that it's not going to flex on you and it's going to stand up to the test of time. The other thing that I find to be very good about this product is this. So these are the handles and you can tell the blade will eventually pass through this opening. That's where you're actually gonna be bending the tooth or setting it. One thing I find is really good about this, not only is it fully assembled from the factory to my door, but the steel used or the metal used in these arms is solid. 
That is a solid piece of metal, three quarter inch approximately by three quarter inch, maybe five eighths. But that is a solid piece of metal. And I can tell you, no matter how much pressure or force I apply with my hands when trying to set the blade, I'm not gonna bend this. That's gonna stand up to the test of time and that's what I like. Something that's well built, solid, and uh, something I can count on. And I think from the first impression, this is definitely gonna last. And uh, I'm quite impressed. Not only that, but they also included the battery with your digital meter here and they even installed it. So they really took the, uh, took the uh, foolproof measure of making it easy for guys like me to uh, get underway setting blades. So great product. It looks like it's gonna work real well for me. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. As you can tell, the blade setter appears to be a very solid product. I just have to learn how to use it now. And so I got some reading ahead of me. For $299 Canadian plus taxes and shipping, I think this is gonna be a good value. This will tie in really nice with my Woodland Mills sharpener over there. If you guys have any questions at all about this product, come on back next time because I'm gonna be putting this thing to the use because I have probably four or five blades over there waiting to be set and sharpened. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.